Hello, I'm Alexandra and welcome back to my channel. Today is the beginning of a reading vlog and I just got out of the shower, so sorry for the wet hair. But um, I'm doing this uh, intro very, very late because it is already Sunday and usually I do this on Friday, but that's okay. Um, so far this week, I did finish one book. One book. It's Killer of a Certain Age by Diana Reborn, I believe. And basically, um, you're following this this group of older women who um, used to work as like killers, but not really. It's like an organization that kills people. But like uh, at the beginning, it was to kill Nazis, and it kind of evolved. And these women are like older now, so they're in their sixties, and you know, they're retiring or they thought they were and they go on a cruise paid by the company and then they realize that uh, they are trying to kill them so the company is trying to kill these women and they escape and they have to like uh, find out why uh, the company is trying to get them killed and like it wasn't bad it's just it didn't feel real at all like too many things happening too many murders um, you can't get away with that many murders. It doesn't make sense. Like, I don't know. I'm gonna give it three stars because it wasn't bad. It was good. I mean, I think I might be reading other books by this writer. Um, but this one was not that great. It just was too much. Um, it was a short one, I believe, 11 hours long for the audiobook. So it was a quick one. It was fine. I wasn't super amazed by it, but also I didn't want to put it down. So I guess it's a good book. So that's that. Uh, but I'm about to start start Babel by R.F. Quine. Finally, it's a long one. It's uh, The audiobook is 22 hours long and um, I have seven days left on my loan from the library. So I need to get on with that. I am also reading Not an, an Execution by Dania Kukafka. Uh, I had already started that book a couple of months ago, but I didn't like keep on reading it. Uh, it got returned to the library and I was waiting for it to become available again and it did. So I will be reading that. I also have like only 10 days left, but I'm already, I think, 15% into the book. So we'll see how that goes. And I also have... Um, physical books. So I'm still reading Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Uh, this is the third book in the series. Just It's a cozy read for me. I really enjoy it. We read them all the time. And this is my yearly reread, so nothing else really to say. But I am also reading The Manuela Palace by Fiona Davis. I am really enjoying this book. I just feel like I'm a bit in a reading slump, so it's taking forever. But I'm enjoying it. Are you following? two women as they navigate through life and being models so we'll see how this goes but so far enjoying it and yeah that's it for right now and i'll update you as soon as i make some progress into a book or finish a book so see you soon bye hello um did this week go as planned not at all it is already friday and I was like uh, editing the vlog and I realized the only update I did was the intro. So here we are on Friday and I haven't talked to you all week long. But to be fair, a lot of things happened during the week. So first off, first off I had um, an appointment with a specialist regarding my labyrinthitis. So if you didn't know, uh, beginning of uh, August, well, second week of August, I was super dizzy, like for hours on end. And turns out I had an infl inflammation in my ear that was causing that. So I've been off work for like a month. And I went to see the specialist. He said to me, it's the first time in a very long time he's seeing someone with a real labyrinthitis. So that was that but he said it's getting better so he told me to go back to work so I started work on Wednesday and like the main symptom I'm still experiencing with that is being tired and extra tired like I'm used to being tired because you know I was a student working full-time blah 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 but this type of being tired it's just whew, I'm 
anyway i'm tired so on wednesday and thursday i wasn't feeling like updating you because i was just too tired and i wasn't even cleaning like you know completely out of it but um i still made some progress into reading so we'll start with the book i did finish is harry potter and the prisoner of azkaban i was in the mood to read harry potter it is a comfort read for me this is something i reread every year so that was great and um, i also feel like i'm in a little bit of a reading slump because i'm not like feeling that great and everything so that's that but did finish that book i have also made progress into babel by rf kwang uh, i am about 50 percent into it i'm not enjoying it that much because nothing's happening like nothing it they all talk about languages, which is fine because I love learning languages. I think it's amazing. Uh, the people that speak many languages are incredible because it's hard. Uh, for me, like I speak French and English, but I've also learned quite a bit of Italian, Russian, started Arabic, and I'm currently learning Punjabi. <laughs> That's another story. But you know, it's hard to learn languages so babel is nice because like they are learning languages and everything but like where is the magic system like they're talking about steel is it steel anyway that thing and it's just not it i'm getting bored and also i won't have time to finish that book before um it, it it's returned to the library and i put my name already on the waiting list because i have like access to three libraries and it's saying like six weeks so not gonna finish it for a while but you know about 50 percent into it then the physical books okay um so and manuela the manuela palace i have made some progress i'm on page 224 still really enjoying it it's just i don't know i haven't been feeling like reading so that's why i haven't finished it but i really want to finish it this weekend so i can be like this is done a new month a new start so we'll try to finish this i also just realized i'm also reading notes on an execution by dania kukafka kukafka anyway that 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 woman i think it's a woman anyway that person um and honestly i'm bored and also it's gonna be returned to the library very soon and i think i'm like one third into the book and i don't know <laughs> anyway so reading that not that enjoying that book i don't know i feel like i'm gonna put it down because like i know where it's going it's boring and i don't know we'll we'll see when it's returned to the library if i put my name back on the waiting list we'll see um I have made progress into Holdbringer by Brendan Sanderson. Uh, this is a book I started last week of July. It's now the last week of September, you know, but it's a thick one and it's heavy fantasy. If you have read this, you know, it's not something that's easy to read. Um, it takes time. But since I am back at work, I'm taking the bus and the metro subway and I have time to read, so I did read uh, like 200 pages in the last two days, so that's great. Uh, enjoying it, it's not, a, it's not a question of like, am I enjoying it or not, it's just, it's hard to read and I need to be in the right mood, but forcing myself to read in my commute to work is working. <laughs> so, making progress into this one, and I have also started Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, this is the fourth book. As I said, I'm in a Harry Potter mood, so reading this and enjoying it but yeah uh so that means i only finished one book this week but you know it's life and i'm in the middle of so many books that i'm kind of enjoying so not stressing myself too much with it but yeah that's how it's going and hopefully i can read more next week uh yeah we'll see but i'll see you soon bye